There are several really good coding apps that you can use to teach your students the basics of coding. One of those apps is called Tickle. Um, the first time you are putting this on your device, I would definitely recommend having an, having an adult get it from the App Store, as when you put Tickle in the App Store, some adult content does come through. So as an adult, I would be the one who puts this on your child or your student's device. I'm going to go ahead and open mine up here. And the neat thing about Tickle is that it can work with different drones and spheros and things like that, but it can also just work as a standalone thing with your device. So I'm going to tap New Project in the top right corner. Once I'm on New Project, you'll see the different things that it does work with. It works with some Lego stuff, some airborne cargos, spheros. You can just see all the compatible devices. I myself am just going to choose Orca because I don't have a device hooked up. So once I have Orca signed up, you can see that there is um, already just some programming there to show you how it's done. So I'm going to tap play to see what it does. So it says when it's starting to play, it pops. It um, moves 10 steps to the right for 36 times. And then it will just kind of do that forever. It will go to wherever you touch. So I'm just touching to show you how that works. So I'm going to push stop. And if I want to do my own code, I can just slide this into a trash. And now I can do my own. And you'll see there's motion. Um, you can change the look of the whale. You can do things with the certain devices. You can play different sounds. You can have different events. Um, you can control so you can repeat things or wait. You can have sensing. And then you can have variable operators. So I'm going to go back up to the top and then I'm going to choose events. And look at my different options. Whoops. I'm going to say when starting to play, and I just drag that over. So when I push play, what do I want it to have happen? Um, let's see here. I'll just kind of go through here. I'm going to go to motion. And let's say that I want it to turn right. And I'm going to change that to 10 degrees. And I'm going to go to my control. And... I'm going to just repeat that, and I'm going to try to get that right in there. Ten times is good. And then finally, I'll have it do that ten times, and then I'm going to have it tell me hi. Okay, so now I'm going to push play to see how that works. Hi. So you can see that he didn't make it all the way around, so then as students, you can kind of explore. So what happens if I say repeat 20 times? Let's see what he does then. Hi. So it's just a way to get students introduced to computational thinking. This particular type of coding is called block coding, and it's great to use with younger students or introductory students.